Look what I found at Costco, y'all. Fully cooked braised short ribs with sesame barbecue sauce. This is what it looks like. It comes with two ribs and then it comes with some sesame barbecue sauce. So I'm supposed to put this in the oven for 28 minutes on 375 and see what happens then. I'm just about to show you guys how, how I'm gonna do it. There's really nothing to it. All right, here we go. All right, y'all, so this is how it looks right now. This is, oh, it's bubbling. So it's juicy. It's some thin barbecue sauce, y'all, but it is. Ooh, yo. Look at this, y'all. This look fire. Ooh, and it's a lot of barbecue sauce, y'all. Y'all already saw what I have. I have Costco ribs and I have some rice here. Um, I made some adobo rice, uh, which I put some better than blue. I already showed y'all that too. Let me taste it. Okay. It tastes very, still a little bland, so that's fine. And I'm wrong with that. No, I didn't get nothing on that. I'm not good with chopsticks and oh, I got a I got an intro, huh? Hold on, let me intro real quick. Mm. What up, y'all? It's Tasha, and I'm back with another video. If you are new to the channel, please check out the rest of our videos. And if you like our videos, subscribe to the channel, like button, comment, um, and if you new here, welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you new here. You might see some drama in the comments. Ignore them. Don't hop on the boat. Hop off the boat. But come join Just Tasha P. Because we want good vibes over here. And we want good vibes on Just Tasha P. The bad vibes can stay at home. But I got the Costco ribs, y'all. Oh, and what I want to share with you guys on this channel is this book. Don't believe everything you think, okay? This also goes for everybody on Just Tasha P. I'm gonna start talking about it later. Let me try these ribs. Let me, came, let me try what y'all came here for. So you see this one? It's got some like fat on it. I'm just gonna remove the fat. Cause the meat, it, the meat is soft. I know a lot of y'all don't like soft. But I do. Mmm. Oh, it's soft though. Mmm. I got some fat too. Oh, but that's good. Oh, Costco. Okay. Mmm. Hold on. Because what you're not going to do is, I can't eat that rice. Not too much, though, y'all, because it's hot. And then, put this delicious sesame barbecue sauce on the rice. Mmm. This is good, y'all. It's a little salty, though. I ain't gonna lie. Excuse the finger licking. But this finger looking good. Mmm. Oh, it's good. This has to be paired with mashed potatoes or white rice. And maybe a veggie because it is. It tastes very sodium rich. Um. So you need to pair it with something bland, but it's good. This is what you need to do right here. You get the rice, you get that, and you just, since you already put it on your spoon, now you just got to rub the bottom of the spoon. But that's fine. You see the dripping? What, you want some? All right. Here. This is only for the nice people. Everybody else can eat. Y'all can lick the thing. Y'all can lick this here. This is good too, though. Y'all can lick that. Mm, my phone rang. Turned up the whole recording. 
Mm. Look at this meat. Look how easily it falls off the bone. Wow. This would be great pulled. Uh, this is beef or pork. This would be great whatever. I want to make a sandwich so bad, but I'm about to do a snack video too. So. Mm. That's good. Yo, I haven't started the book, so I'm going to start it with y'all. Um, I've had it for over a week and haven't looked at it, but I've been thinking about it. I have a lot of books that I haven't had a chance to read yet, or have, I've had a chance. I haven't made time to read yet, and... No better time than right now to so start reading this book with y'all and see what happens. All right. I'm going to start in a little bit. And so chapter one is the journey to finding the root cause of suffering. Um, I can't pronounce his name, but I think it's Thick Nat Han. He said, people have a hard time letting go of their suffering. Out of fear of the unknown, they prefer suffering that is familiar. What it's saying is, you would probably prefer to suffer in familiarity rather than uh, do something new because you're afraid. You're afraid to do something new. You're afraid to find out what that new thing might be. You're afraid to find out what, what the consequences or the rewards for that something new there is an important distinction to make when speaking about suffering. When I mention suffering in this book, I'm referring to psychological and emotional suffering. There is a way in which no matter what happens in your life, you do not have to suffer emotionally and psychologically. I'm going to tell y'all a little, give y'all a little tidbit, okay? That's so good. Um... So, I remember being younger. I remember not having control over things, and I remember not being happy about certain things. But do you know the attitude I used to have? I used to say to myself as a child from like five, six, seven maybe years old, um, okay, this person said this or feels this way or does this. So what I did at this young, ripe age was say, oh, they did it for, for this reason. So... It's not personal. I, know, I didn't take stuff personal. You know, um, I actually just felt sorry for uh, whoever was making mistakes and understood that, I don't know, I guess I understood everybody was, I don't even know what I understood at that age. I understand now that, oh, everybody's human, this and that, but as, as a young person, I'm not sure what I understood or why I understood it, but I didn't blame people who were responsible for things that they did or things that happened, you know, because I wanted to be happy. You know, I wanted to continue living my life. I wanted to be a happy person. And, and, and um, we can do that now. You know, I feel like it was easier for me before. This new transition has become hard for me. But you know what I think? I think that as soon as an event happened in your life, you have hordes of nincompoops you know saying a bunch of stuff different things and when you are yourself are in a space sometimes it's easy to let negative energy in you know when you're in a low space or you're low vibrational it's easier to let you know negative energy in but i think that we all should consciously try to not be victims to our emotional um baggage you know if you have a bunch of bags in your house and they're annoying you you know you throw the bags out because you can you can pick the bags up and you can throw them out so if we can do that in real life then I don't see because in your head is real life too I don't see why we can't take the emotional baggage out too take the emotional baggage out along with the physical baggage that you have around your house because that emotional baggage is not doing any good. It's not doing any good. I have to learn. And I'm currently learning this. That's why I'm saying this. I'm currently struggling. A lot of people think that you can't 
a lot of people think that you can't move on, still be hurt, or be hurt and be happy, or you know whatever. But you you can you can do all of the above, and you just have to make the right decisions. You just have to make sure. And you know what? Even if you don't make the right decisions, make the decision you make and stand on your decision. If you didn't like the decision that you're standing on, unmake that decision and go make another one because you have the right to do whatever the hell you want to do with your life, right? You have the right to do whatever you want to do. You are the narrator of your story. Nobody else can tell your story but you. God, yes, but besides me and God, besides you and God, nobody can write your life, okay? And um, <laughs> that's all. And so, also, what else you say? He's not, I'm not saying that what we go through is all in our heads or made up. Terrible and unfortunate events happen to people every single day. What I'm saying is that although we experience a lot of pain in our lives, suffering is optional. Hmm. In other words, pain is unavoidable. But how we react to the events and circumstances that happen in our lives is up to us. And that will dictate whether we suffer or not. That's crazy. Buddhists say that anytime we experience a negative event in our lives, two arrows fly our way. Being physically struck by an arrow is painful. Being struck by a second emotional arrow is even more painful. That's suffering. We can't always control the first arrow. However, the second arrow is our reaction to the first. The second arrow is optional. Okay, so whatever happens to us in our lives, we have the strength, we have the power, we have the wisdom. So it says, when I first heard of this quote from Buddha a few years back, I was confounded because although I understood what he meant, I didn't know how I could apply this in my own life. If anyone were given the clear choice of suffering and not suffering, I don't think anyone in their right mind would choose to suffer. How can I just choose not to suffer, right? If, I were, if it were as easy as that, I don't think anyone would be suffering. It wasn't until years later that I came across a new understanding of where suffering comes from that I was able to stop it at its source. That's where I'm trying to be because I feel like um, you suffer with guilt even if, let me tell y'all something about social media. I, I've been, you know, I felt guilty of some things. Um, I feel like maybe I, I didn't make the right decision with certain things. Um, and I feel like I did make the right decision with certain things. But reading comments from people, now I'm okay, but in the beginning, that's why I like really, I, I really, I love that I got a new channel um, because I see, yeah, I don't want to be over here. I ain't gonna lie. I don't want to be over here. Um, not because I don't love the OG. I love everybody. I love, I love most of y'all. Y'all know who I love. I love the ones I love. But on this channel, the comments are negative. So I choose not to read them, but once in a while I read them because I have to read my, I have to go to my own videos and, you know, I have to, I want to comment back, you know, to you guys. I realize that one of the things that I have to do to stop my suffering is reading the comments on the Steph and Tasha channel. Um, I choose to stop reading the comments. It's sad, but for my healing, I have to stop reading the comments because people are saying a lot of things that are, for one, not true, but also it's just negative. It's negative against all of us, you know, it's negative against all the parties involved in this whole entire thing, you know, and it, it's, it's like a cloud, you know, and I don't want that cloud. I want to move on and I want to, you know, everybody's saying, oh, stop talking about it. Stop talking about it. Some of y'all niggas still won't shut the fuck up. I get it. Someone has class. Someone doesn't. Someone is an alcoholic. Someone is a cheater. Someone is uh, better than the other person. Someone is manipulative. Someone is narcissist. It's all, it's, and it's about everybody. It's about all three parties involved. And y'all know what I'm talking about. And guess what? <clears throat> Nobody cares about y'all. No, no, not none of us. The three of us don't care about y'all. The ones that are spewing all that negative shit don't care about you. When y'all talk shit about... This one or this one, it, it, it's not 
cute. No, it's not. It's not nice. It's negative. It's nasty, and so are you. You know. Um, I choose, and if you do too, to in suffering, you do have to get rid of the source. Um, a lot of times, the source is yourself, outside influence, a partner, um, a friend, a job. You know, there's so many sources of suffering. Um, it's so good that I know I didn't eat much, y'all. But let me let me try to eat some more. <coughs> Um, <coughs> I can't wait to finish reading. If y'all want me to read more of this book to y'all, let me know. I love it. Um, he said, as I began my journey of self-improvement, I came across a myriad of different teachings, studies, and methods to help overcome their problems, to help people overcome their problems. I read dozens, if not hundreds of books, studied psychology, and went through it. Hey, um, wait to finish this book um, because a lot of us are suffering and we don't have to we don't have to be we do it to ourselves um, you gotta forgive yourself for whatever you're guilty for or feel guilty for and you have to move forward or you might as well die and that's how I feel about <coughs> Um, myself right now uh, I've had a lot of guilt and I don't I don't deserve to feel guilty anymore and I won't and y'all not gonna make me feel guilty so I'm gonna stop reading y'all comments okay because for real I, I'm actually angry at um, it's, 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 it seems silly, but it's not silly to me. I'm angry to even to be on this channel. Um, I'm angry that, um, even to like be over here. Cause to me, being over here to me, I feel like it's, I feel like it's a part of my suffering to be honest. And it's going to have to stop. I'm going to have to stop being on this channel at some point right now. I'm not going to do it. Um. You know, it's, I like being on, on the new channel because nobody's negative over there. And I know being on the internet, you're going to get negativity. That's cool. I'm cool with all that. But I am actively trying to change my life and make my life the happiest I've ever been. And I'm not going to let some ugly trolls, camels that I don't, can't even see stop, stop me. So that's why I need to remove myself from this, um, area, um, I wish Stephanie the best on this channel. I'm not leaving yet. I'm just telling you guys and her. But she already knows because y'all don't know. Anyway, um, I wish her the best on this channel. I want you guys to continue to support her. Uh, the people that love her, um, I love that. You don't have to talk crap about me to love her, and you don't have to talk crap about her to love me. You know, the people, the mature people know that. Um, I, I, I hope that this channel surpasses anything it ever has i hope that stephanie does so great in her life and that she is happy and healed and healing and i wish her the best and i wish you guys the best too even you fucking bitches i wish y'all the best too because you just hurt or you know i don't know what you are angry or whatever and but i wish you the best and Go get this book. I'm going to keep reading it. I hope if you guys are suffering, you end your suffering. Actively end your suffering. Sometimes you have to go and grab your suffering and throw it out. So, with that being said, I'm done. Didn't eat much. Sorry, because I don't want to. But I love y'all. Bye. Oh, until next time, I'll leave you guys. Peace.